Hello, in this video I'm going to be talking about harmonic patterns, harmonic trading patterns within the Forex markets and uh, basically how to trade them, how they occur, the rules around them and so on. So um, harmonic patterns combine um, geometry and Fibonacci ratios into a trading method that is uh, tries to be precise and based on the premise that patterns repeat themselves within the market. So harmonic patterns basically attempt to predict future price turning points within the market. Now, there are a few uh, harmonic patterns traded by traders um, but again in this video I'm going to be only talking about two of the most popular and frequently occurring uh, harmonic patterns and the first harmonic pattern is the Gartley pattern so the Gartley pattern was named after and discovered by a gentleman by the name of Harold McKinley Gartley who uh, discovered this pattern in the stock market in somewhere around the 1930s. Now this pattern was, sorry, this patent, pattern was um, later adapted by traders in the uh, in all markets, including the forex markets. So this is what the Gartley pattern looks like, and it consists of it consists of four moves. So you've got the X to A leg, which is basically the X here to A leg, you've got the A to B, the B to C, and the C to D, which is down here. And the moves are centered around Fibonacci ratios. So um, when we have the X to A leg, right, of a move, let's say for example, the market moves from here to here. Now the A to B move, this retracement move in the market, should be at least 61.8% of this move. Now if you don't understand Fibonacci and retracements and exactly how they work, then I suggest you watch the Fibonacci video we have in the video section. Uh, to refresh yourself and to uh, get to know about Fibonacci. Otherwise, this is not going to make any sense to you. So brush up on your Fibonacci retracement skills and um, then come back to this video. But um, so the X to A move is your initial move from the low to the high. And your retracement move is the 61.8% Fibonacci ratio. Now price um, has to at least touch this 61.8% Fibonacci ratio, but it cannot touch the 78.6. So it can't go lower than the 78.6. So once you get a retracement within the market that uh, hits the 61.8, you've got your A to B leg. Now, your B to C move is should be a minimum of a 38.2% uh, retracement of the A to B. So if you were to plot a Fibonacci uh, re uh, retracement tool uh, and drag it from A to B, then prices as they retrace this A to B leg, price has to touch the 38.2% Fibonacci ratio, um, and it cannot go above A. So it can, as long as it touches the 38.2, it's fine, and it can keep going higher, but it cannot, price cannot uh, pass uh, point A on the chart. And then we have the C to D move. Now, the C to D move, as prices retrace, this X to A leg, you should have D should be 78 to 78.6% move of the X to A leg. So as soon as prices have hit the 38.2 and they start to 
go past B, if price does go past B, then what you're looking for is a retracement into the 78.6 from X to A, right? Because remember we had we had a retracement from um, you know X to A when we were looking for B, and that was the 61.8% Fibonacci ratio. And then when we're trying to find D, we're looking for the 78.6% retracement from X to A. So that's the main move. And then um, we have the um, traders will place a an order, a pending order, probably a buy limit order right here or anywhere around the 78.6% um, Fibonacci ratio in an attempt to capitalize on a reversal to the upside. So this is a bullish Gartley pattern, right? So traders will attempt to buy at this D and put their stop loss anywhere, uh, uh, sorry, below X. Um, and what I'll do is now I'll get into the uh, charts and see um, and show you how to plot the Gartley pattern um, on, a, on a price chart. So this is the Euro dollar uh, 240, the four hour uh, time frame chart. Now, um, we have a Gartley on this chart. Now, when you're getting used to trying to see the Gartley, it can be very confusing. But eventually, once you get your, um, your eye in for it, it becomes um, second nature. So um, the more, like anything, the more you practice, is the better you become at it. So um, what we need to do is have, we have four moves. So we have an, an X to A, A to B, B to C, and a C to D. So the X to A leg, so if we actually uh, maybe just draw a, um, let's draw a Gartley pattern on here. Now, if you have <coughs> a trading view, then you actually have um, a Gartley pattern um, uh, tool on here. It's called the X, A, B, C, D pattern. So what we want to see is if we pick that, um, and this is just, even if, and even if you haven't got the uh, the A, B, C, the X, A, B, C, D pattern, this is just for, um, to get your eye in. So we're just going to draw like almost like a template, right? So X to A, A to B, and that should come down to the, uh, 61.8 roughly around there uh, B to C should come at least minimum 38.2 and then a uh, D completion at the 78.6 so somewhere around uh, 78 79 will do right so that's the pattern that we're looking for in fact let's uh, Maybe draw this with a one of these tools, right? So X to A, A to B, and it'll come down to about there. C to D, like that, right? So that is the pattern that we are looking for within price action. So we need to identify our X to A leg, so we can see X the low to a high. Yeah, so we have, uh, let's get some text. So that's A. Uh, let's put that in capitals. Sorry, that's the X leg. So the X is right here. The A is up here. So now we're looking for a retracement. So our rules say that we should have the, the A to B move, because we're X to A and then A to B, should be um, at least 61.8% retracement of the X to A move. So now we need to bring in uh, a Fibonacci tool. So if you don't have this harmonic pattern, 
uh, and you're not using trading view or you don't have that type of pattern on your trading platform you'd have to do it this way so what you do is you get a Fibonacci tool from the low from the X and to the A and then you look for the A to B move and the B has to touch at least the 61.8 which it does but it cannot touch the 78.6 so it touches price actually retraces back down touches the uh, 68 sorry 61.8 percent ratio now we can confirm that as a B doesn't touch the 78.6 so now we are on alert so our first part is completed so X to A A to B now the next move it says this uh, the B <coughs> C move should be at least a 38.2 percent retracement of the A B move but should not go above A so now we're looking for the Fibonacci the move to retrace back up of this A to B move so we've got A to B we've got our 38.2 percent fib level right here and so that's fine and it doesn't touch it doesn't go prices do not go above a so the B to C and this would be considered the C that would be that now you can't really say that's a C leg until really prices break below B because prices could continue to go higher and higher and higher and go above A <clears throat> so you wouldn't necessarily plot this C until prices break below B yeah so prices have to touch the 38.2 first before breaking below B now once we've established that prices have gone below B we now look to see where the D leg is and let's get rid of this so we need to see where the D leg completes so the D leg should be somewhere around here and <clears throat> how that's calculated is D should complete at the 78.6% Fibonacci ratio of the X to A leg. So then we take our Fibonacci tool again. And as you can see, prices, once they broke below B, actually touched the 78.6% level right there so this would have been our D completion so C to D so right there and from this point once prices break past B traders will go on alert and what they will do is they will set a pending order so they will set um, you know a buy limit order at the 78.6 level Fibonacci level and they will put their stop loss anywhere below a so they would have this much risk and then they will calculate their risk reward as you can see this made a two to one in fact I think it went a bit further as well yeah so it went further up as well um, and uh, that's basically how traders will trade a bullish um, Gartley pattern so if they're looking for a buy trade the X to A is the first move up and you're waiting for the retracement to come down place a pending order a buy limit order at the 78.6 put your stop loss below X and then wait for price to move possibly in your favor. 
Um, some traders will wait for price action, uh, but the majority of traders will just place a, a pending order at the 78.6 level and then wait for price to really, once, once prices have broken past B, then it's time to place your pending order. Price may not actually touch the 78.6, it might have just come shy and then gone straight back up. But the um, the good thing about the Gartley uh, pattern is that it's um, it's a kind of set and forget strategy, whereas you can kind of plan ahead. With a Gartley pattern, it's predictive. It's definitely predictive in nature, it tries to be predictive. Um, Fibonacci is a predictive tool. So um, as it uses Fibonacci ratios, um, it is uh, uh, quite good for predicting. It's not It's not a, uh, a lagging indicator like, for example, um, a moving average is. So um, that's the Gartley pattern. And now we're going to move on to the, um, I'll, give, I'll give you an example of a bearish Gartley pattern. So now we're gonna look to see if we can uh, see a bearish Gartley, meaning that we're going to be trading to the downside and trying to short the market. So this is a uh, the pound dollar 30 minute chart, and this one might be a bit easier to see and uh, we'll go over it anyway just in case you can't see it so what we need to look for is our x to a so we have the x and then we have an a so we have a low to a high sorry a high to a low and now we're looking for a retracement so we need to see um, the A to B move must retrace at least 61.8% uh, of the X to A move. So if we grab a Fibonacci tool from the high to the low and price retraces and comes back exactly to that level right there can see right there that it touches so once it touches we've got a X to a a to B leg right now we're waiting for a, uh, uh, a uh, sorry a B to C leg right so the B to C should be at least 38.2 percent move of the A to B so we need to have the A to B and it needs price needs to retrace at least to the 38.2% and it does. You can see it right here where price has come down, touched the 38.2, it can't go past the A leg. So once we get a touch of the 38.2 of this A to B, this B to C, now, is we are on alert until price goes above B, right? So this would be B. And we can't call this a C leg, even though price is retraced to the 38.2 until prices break and go above B. So this isn't a C leg until prices go above B. So once prices go above B, we take the lowest price that C would have made, which is actually here. And then we look for 78.6% move of the total X to A leg. So let me just delete that. We get the Fibonacci tool. So once prices break above B, now we're looking for a retracement to the 78.6% level of the X to A move, yeah? So the C to D move should be 78.6 retracement of the X to A. So prices will go from here to here, and then the confirmed C leg is once price breaks above, and then once it breaks above, 
traders will then be on alert. They might set an alert on their uh, charting platforms once prices go above and then a pending order entry. That would be a sell limit order at that price. This would be your confirmed C leg pending order at this price. So that would have been the uh, 1.2899 level. And once prices have hit that level, let's say, so prices come up, stop, your stop loss needs to be placed anywhere above the X leg. And then you can see prices actually, you know, fell from there. So um, that would be a bearish Gartley pattern. So a bullish Gartley pattern is obviously a buy and you're looking for prices to retrace back down. You know, the X will start down here, the low to the high and the bearish is you're getting into the short side and the X starts from the high and the A is to the low. So we're now going to look at um, a second popular trading harmonic pattern. So the next uh, really popular pattern, uh, harmonic pattern, is something called the bat pattern. Now the bat pattern is similar to the Gartley uh, harmonic pattern, but has slightly different rules. Um, so the bat pattern um, first rule is that the retracement, so the uh, A to B retracement, uh, needs to be 50% of the X to A move. So as prices move up and you find a low to a high or a high to a low, depending on a, um, if you have a bearish back pattern, but this is a bullish back pattern. So um, as prices come down and they retrace, prices must at least touch the 50% um, and Fibonacci, 50% um, isn't a Fibonacci ratio, um, but it must touch at least the 50% uh, level and retrace halfway. Um, if it touches, if price touches the 61.8%, then pretty much we have a Gartley pattern. So uh, price can go down 55, 58%, but it just can't touch the 61.8% uh, Fibonacci uh, ratio. So that would be the A to B leg retracement of the X to A. And then exactly the same as the Gartley where you have your B to C leg, um, it needs to be a 38.2% uh, retracement minimum of the A to B leg. So if we take a Fibonacci uh, retracement tool and we drag it from A to B and we're looking for a retracement back up, then the B to C, C should complete at least touch the 38.2% uh, Fibonacci ratio. Again, prices, just like the Gartley pattern, prices can't go above um, A. So they can go anywhere above uh, the 38.2, but just can't go above A. And once we have, again, a pullback uh, towards uh, B and we get you know prices move past B then uh, traders usually be on alert for a retracement the C to D leg and D um, completes at the 88.6% Fibonacci ratio and the 88.6% um, Fibonacci ratio isn't a popular Fibonacci ratio but it is derived um, from certain calculations within the Fibonacci sequence and that needs to be um, the D needs to come down to and at least touch the 88.6% uh, Fibonacci ratio retracement level of the X to A leg. So if you pull a Fibonacci from X to A, D needs to come down to the 88.6% uh, uh, retracement level. And then what traders will do is actually place a pending order, a buy limit order at the 88.6% level and then place their stop loss anywhere below X. 
So we'll get into an example of a bullish and bearish uh, back pattern on the price charts. So here we have the US dollar Swiss franc currency pair on the daily time frame chart and we're looking for the back pattern. So we need to identify well, this is going to be a bullish back pattern. So we need to identify a low to a high. So we can see this move here was a low to a high. So that would be our our X to A. So this is X and this is a. Now what we want to see is a retracement back down into the 50% level, right? So move A to B, because X to A, then A to B, this move down must uh, hit the 50% uh, level of the X to A leg, but it cannot touch the 61.8% level. Otherwise, it pretty much becomes a Gartley. So we've got the X to A move and prices retrace back into the 50%, but don't touch the 61.8. Then we need to find the, so that's the A to B move. So A to B should be 50% retracement of the X to A move. So then we need to find the B to C. Now the B to C needs to be at least 38.2% of the uh, A to B, right? So the B to C needs to be 38.2 of the A to B. And then we take the A to B, prices are clearly past the 38.2, and notice that it doesn't go higher than the A leg, which is what we need as well. We don't, what we don't need is prices to go above. If prices go above the A leg, then it invalidates the pattern. So prices stayed below the A leg. Now we have a B to C. So B to C. And now we want to see uh, price, the D leg must be sort of C to D leg and the D must complete at at least the 88.6% retracement of the X to A, so X to A, and I'm going to have to add this Fibonacci in. So we'll call this uh, 0 0.886, and we'll add this in right here. Actually, let's give it a different color. Let's give it a yellow, right. We can move this to the left, right. So we can see that the C to D, so let's draw out our X to A, A to B, B to C, and now we're looking at the D needs to complete at the, or at least touch the 88.6% Fibonacci level for traders to then look to place their pending order. And remember, we don't have a D leg or a C leg until prices go below B. So then you won't go on alert, traders won't go on alert until prices here go below B and then we have a potential C. And then once prices hit the 88.6, traders will enter a pending order. And this is a great example of why you should not necessarily always have really tight stop losses. So. Let's put this over, right. So the X leg was here. That's the 100% level. So if you're putting your stop loss right at the X leg, you can see 
you would have been unlucky and would have been stopped out here. Um, remember, when placing your stop, you always want to place it in an area where you think you will be totally wrong on the trade. Right. So give your um, your stop loss enough room to breathe. And as you can see, if you did give it enough room to breathe, currently the trade has gone in the intended direction. So as a lesson, just make sure you don't put it, you know, just below here, put it, you know, give it enough room to breathe, um, give it enough slack. And um, yeah, you can see that prices uh, continue to move higher. So that is the bat pattern. If you do have, and I'll get rid of uh, some of this, if you do have the X to A and you are um, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, uh, harmonic pattern tool on trading view. So you can use this tool and it plots out the actual Fibonacci numbers. You can see the 50 where it says 55, it's 56.6. So that's the Fibonacci level. It went down to, even though 50% isn't Fibonacci, but um, then you've got the move from here to here. Right, so that will start to tell you whether it's hit the 88.6 level here in this move. You may have to, if you're not sure about you know the Fibonacci move, just confirm it with the Fibonacci tool right here. And you can see pretty much that it did hit the Fibonacci, We've confirmed it so. That is the bullish uh, bat pattern, and we'll look to, uh, I'll show you a bearish bat pattern. So here's the bearish Gartley on the US dollar, um, or Australian dollar, US dollar currency pair on the daily chart, and we have a high to a low. So we have our X leg, which starts up here. And we got our A leg, which is down here. Now what we need to see is price retrace back to the 50% level, again which it does here. So it hits the 50% level. So that's our A to B. And then once we've got our A to B, we need to see, we need the B to C leg. So the B to C leg is 50%, oh sorry, 38.2% of the A to B it needs to touch. So uh, let's put the, actually matter of fact, let's put the notes on here. So you can have a look. So we've got the B to C leg needs to touch be the 38.2% retracement of the A to B or higher or lower in this case. So it definitely touched the 38.2. So now that becomes the B to C leg. So C is here. C is the lowest point. And remember, we can't have C go past A. And now we're on alert once prices go past B. So now we need to see the C to D move needs to needs to touch the 88.6% retracement of the X to A move. So X to A. And once prices pass B, then traders have plenty of time to place their pending order at the 88.6% move. So you can draw this in A to B, B to C. And then as prices make its way up, we can start to see um, price actually gets to maybe within a touch of it. It doesn't actually quite touch it the first time here. Um, 
but again if you um, front run your orders meaning front running is basically just giving your uh, your trade a bit of extra um, getting in a bit slightly earlier to account for the uh, for the spread um, but it didn't matter anyway because even if you didn't it definitely would have touched the 88.6 percent level right there so it took a while on the on the daily chart but eventually it got there if you didn't get in here you would have got in there and we have the completion of the bat pattern we have the short position would have been around there stop above the actual highs anywhere above the high and as you can see when prices pinged you in you've got a great risk reward and if you are using again the um, trading view and you're looking at the XABCD pattern tool so you've got the X to A A to B that's 51 point sorry it's 52.1 and then you can start to see prices do make the 38.2 from here so it's 40 they go down to the 61 point or 61 percent and then you're looking for the completion at the 88.6 which is around here so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do have any questions uh please email me at info at trading 180.com